Boxable was once considered the ultimate symbol of modern mobile housing, a shining example of what affordable, efficient living could look like. Tiny, practical, and seemingly within reach for many, it captured imaginations and even earned headlines as the future of housing. But now, everything may be on the verge of change. Tesla is preparing to launch something that could make the entire tiny home industry pause and ask, have we just seen the biggest transformation in housing history? Imagine a home priced at only $7,995, one that can produce its own electricity, needs very little upkeep, and even comes with opportunities for free land in certain parts of the United States. It sounds almost too good to be true, doesn't it? But stick with me for the next few minutes, because by the end, you'll see how living smart, efficiently, and independently might be closer than ever before. And the pressing question is, is this the end of Boxable's dominance? Could this be the beginning of Tesla's new housing era? Before we dive into all the details, just take a moment. If you enjoy practical, clear, and engaging analysis, hit that subscribe button and help Device Dimension reach 2,000 subscribers. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that whenever updates drop about the $7,995 Tesla tiny house or new free land offers, you'll be the first to know. First, let's talk about the idea of free land and how it could realistically pair with a Tesla tiny house. The phrase free land can feel misleading. It doesn't mean someone is simply handing out property everywhere. Instead, it usually refers to specific small towns offering incentives to attract people willing to build homes and settle in their communities. Take Marquette, Kansas, for example. This town has publicly announced that it is offering building lots to families ready to construct new homes in the Westridge area, with a straightforward application process through the city clerk. The key takeaway is that free land is a conditional offer not a blanket giveaway. With a compact Tesla tiny house, meeting the construction requirements in these towns is entirely feasible if you prepare the proper paperwork and building plan. Similarly, Mano, Kansas, offers Johnson Edition lots for residents who want a small town lifestyle. The town itself has about 900 residents, with the county totaling around 3,000. Even adding a few dozen Tesla tiny houses could make a real difference for the local community. Statements from the town emphasize that their goal is to boost housing availability and maintain economic vitality. If we visualize the scale and requirements across multiple Kansas towns, typical free lots range from 11,000 to 25,000 square feet, often requiring construction to be completed within about one year. That's more than enough space for a Tesla tiny house, a small yard, a parking area, and even an independent solar system if local rules allow. The one-year timeline works perfectly with a modular home model because structural assembly and interior setup can happen quickly once permits are in place. Nebraska also offers excellent examples. In the city of Curtis, their free lots program requires that applicants build a single-family home meeting city standards within the designated time frame. A major advantage is that all lots are already on paved streets with utilities available. That means initial infrastructure costs are dramatically reduced. If you plan to install a Tesla tiny house here, you can focus your budget on insulation, energy storage, and interior upgrades rather than digging trenches or connecting utilities from scratch. Beatrice, Nebraska offers another program called MAW to Own, where applicants must submit forms, sign agreements, and earn credits to acquire a lot at a set value. Previous phases required completion and occupancy within two years. Because available lots rotate over time, it's crucial to check the latest listings before committing to a Tesla tiny house site. Other states like Colorado often focus incentives on businesses rather than individual residences. For instance, 
The Flagler program offered land for commercial projects that bring jobs. If your goal is a personal Tesla tiny house, Kansas and Nebraska remain the most realistic and practical locations for free or low-cost land. So, what conditions come with these offers? Past programs show two main types, time and construction standards. Time usually requires groundbreaking or completion within 6 to 24 months, depending on the location. Construction standards may include using the property as a permanent residence, meeting minimum floor area, or following roof and setback requirements to comply with zoning rules. None of these are major obstacles for a Tesla tiny house, as long as it's anchored properly, has plumbing and drainage, and meets building codes. Specific timelines, square footage minimums, and other requirements are usually available directly on the city's website or in the land application packages. The key takeaway is that free land deals are not vague promises. They're tools for planning and development. With careful selection, a Tesla tiny house can become a highly cost-effective and sustainable housing solution, offering minimal maintenance and low operating costs. Now, think about your own priorities. Would you prefer a free land lot in a small town, where utilities are available but amenities may be limited, or a low-cost lot closer to a city, where convenience is higher but price may increase? Comment free if utilities matter more than distance for your Tesla tiny house. Next, let's dive into what makes the Tesla tiny house small yet fully capable for everyday living. The core of this innovation is its independent energy system. Tesla's tiny home concept relies on solar panels paired with battery storage to provide power day and night. The goal is practical. Keep the air conditioning running, the fridge cold, the induction stove ready, and light stable, while all devices charge reliably. For a small home for one or two people, Daily consumption usually falls between 8 and 12 kilowatt hours, breaking it down. A refrigerator uses about 1 to 1.5 kilowatt hours, LED lighting 0.2 to 0.4 kilowatt hours, electronics 0.3 to 0.6 kilowatt hours, cooking 1 to 2 kilowatt hours, and a mini AC unit 3 to 6 kilowatt hours, depending on climate. With those numbers, Designing the Tesla Tiny House energy system is straightforward. A 400-watt solar panel can generate roughly 1.5 to 2 kilowatt hours per day in sunny areas. That means 6 to 8 panels produce 9 to 16 kilowatt hours, enough to power a small home efficiently. If space on the roof is tight, panels can be placed on a nearby ground rack. Tesla's modular approach allows homeowners to start small and expand their solar array over time without paying up front for unused capacity. Energy storage is equally critical. A 13.5 kilowatt hour battery pack comfortably covers cloudy days with options to add extra modules for greater reliability. High-grade insulation, including SIP wall panels, thick roof insulation, and double glazed windows reduces heating and cooling demands. Efficient insulation directly lowers energy consumption, potentially saving one or two panels while maintaining comfort. Durable, low-maintenance materials are another hallmark. Powder-coated metal or fiber cement for exteriors and moisture-resistant boards or engineered wood for interiors mean upkeep is minimal. Regular checks of gutters, solar panels, and electrical systems are all that's required. Mobility is another key advantage. At 6,000 to 8,000 pounds, the Tesla tiny house can be towed by a capable pickup or EV with towing capacity. Beyond energy independence and mobility, one of the most exciting aspects of the Tesla tiny house is the potential for smart home integration. Imagine controlling your lights, temperature, and even security systems from your phone, no matter where you are. Tesla's experience with electric vehicles and energy management systems allows this tiny home to operate intelligently 
adjusting energy use automatically to maximize efficiency and comfort. This means less waste, lower bills, and a truly modern living experience without the complexity of traditional home management. Another advantage is lifestyle flexibility. Because the Tesla tiny house is mobile and compact, it allows homeowners to experiment with living in different towns, explore seasonal opportunities, or even move closer to work or family without selling a large, permanent property. This flexibility is ideal for people who value freedom and adaptability, as well as for retirees, digital nomads, or anyone looking to reduce housing costs while maintaining comfort. It's a lifestyle shift, not just a house. Finally, think about community impact. Small towns offering free land see real benefits when people move in with compact, sustainable homes. New residents support local businesses, fill schools, and increase economic activity. At the same time, towns can maintain their charm and manage growth efficiently because Tesla tiny houses require minimal infrastructure investment. It's a win-win, affordable, energy-efficient living for individuals and sustainable, controlled growth for communities. Weather considerations also play a role. Winter or extended cloudy periods reduce solar output to about 1.2 kilowatt hours per panel per day. Oversizing the system by 20 to 30 percent and adding extra storage helps maintain reliability. If a grid connection is available, it can serve as a backup, ensuring seamless comfort year-round. Daily energy needs of 8 to 12 kilowatt hours are easily met with 6 to 10 panels. Modular storage protects against cloudy days, Strong insulation reduces AC load, durable materials keep maintenance light, and mobility allows flexible location choices. All these elements combine into a compact, efficient, and fully functional living solution, which is exactly what Tesla aims to achieve. Now that we've covered free land opportunities and the Tesla tiny house's energy and mobility advantages, let's compare it directly with Boxable to see which home concept might better define the future of housing. When analyzing both options, we need to look at cost, deployment, energy, mobility, and legal considerations to understand the real differences. Starting with cost, the boxable casita often requires a foundation, crane access, utilities connections, and interior finishing. Depending on location and state requirements, Total costs, including transport, permits, setup, appliances, and utilities, can easily exceed $60,000. By contrast, the Tesla tiny house concept is designed with minimalism and efficiency in mind. Using a lightweight shell, energy-efficient appliances, and a self-contained power system, the initial investment can be far lower, with the flexibility to upgrade over time. Lifetime costs are also a crucial factor. A Tesla tiny house with a self-generating energy system can achieve near zero monthly bills in sunny areas. Over time, the savings on electricity can offset the initial energy investment, making the Tesla tiny house a financially smart choice for long-term living. Boxable, while offering convenience and permanence, doesn't inherently provide energy independence meaning ongoing utility costs can remain significant. Deployment is another critical aspect. Installing a boxable casita requires a crane, a level site, and prepared foundations. Ev. A flat, accessible plot is all that's required for anchoring, allowing homeowners to take advantage of free land programs or relocate with relative ease. Energy independence, and operating costs further highlight the differences. Boxable is optimized for grid connection, with limited roof space for solar and storage. Retrofitting solar is possible, but may require professional assessment and significant extra cost. The Tesla tiny house, however, is built around a modular solar array of 6 to 10 panels at 400 watts each, paired with 13.5 plus kilowatt-hour battery storage. Daily consumption of 8 to 12 kilowatt-hours is easily met, 
providing protection from fluctuating energy prices and nearly complete grid independence. Mobility and flexibility are areas where Tesla truly shines. Boxable casitas are essentially stationary once installed, and moving them is costly and complex. The Tesla Tiny House, in contrast, is designed for movement. By checking load balance, trailer brakes, and hitching properly, it can be relocated in a day. This opens opportunities for seasonal living, testing multiple free land programs, or adapting to changing circumstances. Legal and permit considerations also differ. Boxable is typically treated as a permanent dwelling, meaning full compliance with local building codes is required, which can slow down deployment. The Tesla Tiny House can function both as a fixed small home, following standard building procedures, or as a mobile dwelling under RV-type regulations. This dual approach gives Tesla homeowners much more flexibility in terms of where and how they can live. So, who should choose which option? If your priority is a spacious, permanent home and you have the budget for foundations and utilities, Boxable remains a solid choice. But if your focus is low operating costs, gradual upgrades, energy independence, mobility, and a lifestyle closer to off-grid living, the Tesla Tiny House clearly has the advantage. Both approaches aim for compact living, but with different philosophies. Boxable emphasizes permanence and structure. Tesla emphasizes flexibility and sustainability. In conclusion, the future of housing isn't defined by slogans or flashy marketing. It comes down to real-life practicality, energy costs, setup speed, and long-term adaptability. Evaluated over the life cycle of the home, the Tesla Tiny House leans heavily toward the future, combining modular construction, self-sufficient energy systems, and exceptional adaptability to different environments. Now it's your turn. If you had to choose today, would you go with a Tesla Tiny House or a Boxable Casita? What's the number one reason behind your choice? Cost, energy independence, or mobility? Comment Tesla Tiny House if your answer is all three. While Boxable still has its place, the Tesla Tiny House, with self-sustaining energy, low operating costs, mobility, and the ability to pair with free land programs is a clear frontrunner for many future homeowners. This combination makes the dream of living smart, efficiently, and freely achievable in ways that were previously hard to imagine. Before we finish, here's a quick tip. If you want the most useful advice about Tesla tiny houses, leave three details in the comments. Your state, estimated energy budget, and how much time you can dedicate to completing a land application. This allows device dimension to provide the most relevant guidance. If you found this video helpful, hit subscribe to help device dimension reach 2,000 subscribers and turn on notifications for updates about the $7,995 Tesla Tiny House, free land programs, and the latest tiny home innovations. In the next video, We'll break down lifetime costs by climate zone, share a simple permit checklist, and highlight towns with the easiest land programs for Tesla tiny houses. You won't want to miss it. See you there.